midweek, you learn more in defeat. So what's, what's the overall reflection on how Tuesday went? Um, I think the biggest disappointment was just our work, we, our work rate didn't match previous games. Maybe that's an accumulation of the travel and the games that we've played, and it, I mean, it's just been probably one game too many for us. But um, Oldham's intensity, we, we never really matched. Um, you know, and that was probably the biggest disappointment. But um, we, well, we, gave, we brought players that we wanted to bring a freshness about us, and um, and that didn't quite happen. So we, we need to make sure that we pick a team tomorrow that is capable of going there and getting three points. Mm. There was obviously some players that weren't involved on Tuesday night, um, whether a bit of rotation or, or maybe needing a bit of a rest. Does that mean tomorrow's game would be more full strength? No, so obviously Theo's got the suspension. Um, Tomo needed a break. Um, so he comes back in and he will start. Um, trying to think off the top of my head who, who else. Drunan obviously had a, had a dead leg and, and Ruel is struggling with his groin. So there was little things that were happening. And obviously Paul Smith's wife is due to have a baby. So there were certain things that we wanted to do. We wasn't allowed to do, wasn't able to do them all. Um, but I think it's important that we know what we're working with going to next season as well. You know, you, to, to get where we want to get to, you need a squad of players. Well, also, I think like us, pretty bit of a similar season, struggled for a bit and then had a change of manager fairly recently. So what can we expect from them tomorrow? Well, first, I, I obviously know Matt. I've managed Matt Taylor. He went in there in the summer. Um, he had a really good start, but then obviously I think he had a load of, of injuries, which obviously hindered his performance. But I know I know Flinney as well. Flinney has been a, a top manager in the league. He missed out a couple of times on promotion with Newport. You know, and he's, and he's, he's left Newport now and coming to Walsh. So very similar situation to us, about a rebuilding phase. First of all, he had to go in there and make sure that he stayed up, which I think he's done now. Um, and he'll be looking to rebuild for next season. But, you know, Fleming's an assistant, two good guys. So um, looking forward to the game. And, you know, whenever you take play against a Mike Flynn, uh team, it's a difficult game. Into that final stretch now, as you, as you said, just seven games to go. Specifically, what is it you're looking to get out of it? A continuation of what we've just we, we've, we've been doing. But also, I don't want to see any complacency coming in. I, you know, when complacency starts, complacency starts spreading into a, a football dressing room, it can be dangerous. And if any of that does start to spread in, then I'll obviously start to question the players' attitude going into next season. So I think we've got a really good group. But what we don't want to do is any complacency come into the into the dressing room. Mm. Obviously, looking at the month ahead, but before we do that, March as, as a month for the club was a change of results and a change of direction and uh, I guess you've got that kind of positivity that you wanted coming in yeah I think first and foremost you want the results to be right but I think the way the manner in what we've won the games has been really positive and we deserved every point that we've got um, Oldham was obviously a, a negative in the month but we have to look at where we've come from to reach that point the fact that we're, we're actually disappointed and our last game of six games we've got 11 points from the game which is you know, easily play off form. So, please in a hole. But like I say, don't want any complacency to to drip into the squad. And, and I'm sure we've got a good enough group, experienced enough group, for that not to happen. We spoke about a couple of players coming back from injury. One of them, um, Alex Mitchell, obviously had an operation and, and was back in training. Wouldn't you imagine he'll be back in available for selection? We well, train three days training now. We've got. Um, Got a practice match next when next Tuesday against Brentford. He'll play in that, and then obviously we'll we'll see how he comes through that, and then try and get him back in the squad again. Just finally, then obviously we spoke a lot coming in about how Tuesday Saturday kind of didn't give any any breathing room really. Go, going into this month now, does it feel like there'll be a bit of a different approach? Um, not a different approach in terms of the way we want the team to work. It just gives us more time on the training ground to actually. Practice it, you know. You look at you look at a team like Arsenal this year. So Arsenal for me have been one of the standout teams of the season. Obviously Pep and, and Jurgen Klopp at, at their respective clubs have got a certain way of playing, and, and he nail it to a T. Arsenal have come from a, a situation where Arteta's building, and he's had more or less every single week this year free to because he've had no European football. And we look at the team now; they look like it's such a well-oiled coached team that has only come from uh, practice on the training ground so we want to make sure that these next two or three weeks when we do have the three weeks we get a load of information into the into the players we practice what we're going to we're going to do on the pitch and then we can take that into next season